Hi everyone, it's finally happening. We're at the makeup desk and we're doing my everyday makeup routine. I've been getting asked this since I posted my last one, like probably over a year ago now. I have been getting asked about this, I swear, every single day for the past like three, four months. I don't know what changed. Maybe I had a little bit of a glow up, but everyone's been asking recently and I feel like I haven't changed too much, but I thought I would show you anyway. I think I'm gonna do a separate makeup routine of my school makeup because I do not do this routine every single day, even though it's my everyday makeup routine. Unfortunately, my air conditioning just turned on and that's really annoying because I can't turn it off and that happens in every single video. What I was saying was I don't really do this routine every day. This is what I'll do if I'm going out to dinner, filming a video usually, if I'm feeling a little crazy and I want to look nice, TikToks, Instagram. So I could do like separate makeup routines. I definitely will do a school one soon because I feel like people have asked me about that as well. Starting off with primer, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I saw people talking about it on TikTok saying it was like a good dupe for like more expensive primers. I don't know how much you're supposed to use, but I kind of use a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was like three bucks. <laughs> So that's the first step. If you guys want to see like my skincare that I do before my makeup routine, that's going to be a separate video as well that I'm planning on doing. Okay, my beauty blender is damp. I've been using this foundation. It's the Hydroflex Tarte Serum Foundation in the shade 25H Light Medium Honey. It has pretty good coverage, but it's also very, very thin, which is why I've been liking it. I know this isn't sanitary, but I just squeeze it right on my face. Try not to touch the tip to my face though. And then I take this Tarte brush. I have no idea what number or anything it is but it's like a buffing brush and I'll just go all over my face with that. It's honestly a little bit pale for me right now, which feels good because I was starting to think I was losing my tan. But don't worry, we'll be bronzing. So I do this first to kind of just like spread the product out. I really love this brush. And then I'll take my beauty blender and just go over that. Just like really blend it in. I feel like a really good part to making your makeup look good is just like blending a lot. I actually do bronzer before concealer, so I'm gonna do some of that now. Taking the Glossier, the Glossier Solar Paint in the shade Heat, and I put it on my forehead, and I kind of just like smear it like this onto my cheeks. A little line across my nose. And then I take like the butt end of the Beauty Blender to blend that out. I try to just blend up with this so that I don't get it right here. So that's that all blended, and now we're gonna conceal. I use a mixture of two concealers. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape. I go in with that first, wherever there's darkness or redness, which the sides of my nose get really red. And then I do that on the inner corner of my eye, and then the outer corner. And then I blend that with the Beauty Blender as well. It's the longest part of the makeup routine, just blending stuff. Okay, now that that's blended, I then go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydroluronic creamy concealer and I do that like right here and I kind of like drag it when I blend it a little right here and then I mainly focus this under where I bronzed so this part is really light and lifted and you know what I'm gonna say blend but this part I kind of blend right here because I get red it's okay if it looks like a straight line right now because we're gonna go in the contour and still has to blend all that out. I feel like I should definitely show you guys my school routine because I don't have like all of these face steps and it's much quicker. I do it in like 10 minutes. So that is like the cream base all done. Then I powder because I am quite an oily person. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I am in the shade 230 Natural Buff. I take a brush that's like very thick and I go in and I kind of press this under my eyes because they like to crease and I find this works with a pressed powder better than baking. Take it onto my eyelid as well. Basically wherever I put concealer, I'll put this powder. Next is powder bronzer and I go in with my trusty old reliable Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and then I use this Wet n Wild brush that has like two ends. This one is to be more precise. I'll take that one first and just like kind of carve out a line like then it looks like that. Then I'll take this fluffier side and kind of blend that in big circles. I'm going with another bronzer. I'm going to use the Kylie Press Bronzing Powder in the shade Almond. Taking the fluffy brush, go on my forehead. And then I take the fluffy brush and I just go in circles around where I just did that precise contour line. Now, nose contour, which you guys know is my most important step in my makeup routine. I think it completely changes the way your makeup comes out. It completely changes your face. Every time I do someone else's makeup, I always contour their nose, how I would contour my nose. And they're always like, what did you do to my nose? You made my nose look so good. Like, I've never looked this good in my life. That's always what I get told. Using another wet wild brush with two ends. I take my KVD shade and light palette and I go in with this medium shade on flat top brush. I create two lines on the side of my nose of how skinny I want my nose. It's gonna look a little crazy before we blend it, but that's okay. Do you see that? How I just created these two lines. Usually drag them up till my eyebrow. Then taking a little brush like this, this is the Morphe M449. It doesn't have anything on it and I just blend those lines. Then, the most important step 
again with the dense side in the same shade go under your nose like the very tip of my nose to like lift the tip and then i blend that then i take the same side and i make a line right here and this is the game changing component once that line is there i'm looking a bit crazy looking like i just got a whole nose job gone wrong i blend the whole thing but i kind of keep it focused in the areas where i want to keep the product see there's like no defined lines but it, it it changed the shape of my nose it did taking yet another wet and wild brush and then my tart blush in the shade exposed i get a nice generous amount and i go right above where i contoured and then into my hairline next to my eye that's all i do for Blush. I'm not too crazy with it, but next is highlighter. I use the Morphe M510 brush perfect for highlight in my opinion And then I use the Becca highlight in champagne pop and I go on the tops of my cheekbone Lightly like dust it not being too precise just over that area and then into my brow bone and next to my eye Do you see that? I brought it all the way down to here that shape and then i also take a little bit above my eyebrow okay then for my nose highlight and a little bit over that i use the ColourPop super shock cheek in the shade lunch money i take like a little brush like this it's still fluffy but small my inner corner go my cupid's bow and then my nose i go straight down try to keep it as straight as i can and then i blend it with my finger i literally just put it on the very very tip not blending it too much just like a little dot now i'm gonna brush through my eyebrows with a spoolie kind of get all the powders everything out of it so the first thing i do is go in with a pencil for my scar and i'm using this one from the drugstore it's gsq by glam squad and it's just like a pencil like this just to fill in my scar uh, and then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen just in the sparse areas And then I do the same thing to the tail over here And that's about all I do for my eyebrows. I don't really touch the front anymore. I kind of just leave it there I think my eyebrows I've kind of improved a lot now. I do my little freckles I don't do this every day, but I use the Lottie London freckle tint It's literally just like a little brush like this with some like brown liquid that you draw on freckles with and I don't do this with like any rhyme or reason. I just little dots on the sides of my nose, the tops of my cheeks, and I'll just do them in little sections. So I did like that many. And then I just tap them with my finger to blend them out before they dry. And I'll do that across my entire nose bridge. And I'll just change the shape and the size and the distance between them. And then I'll usually just take a brush like this and go in with my bronzer again and just kind of go like, I'm sorry, my air conditioning is so loud and distracting. I hate that so much. But I'll just like put that over where I put the freckles on the sides of my nose to be like, like, oh my god i was just in the sun even though i'm not and it's october <laughs> for eyes i keep it pretty simple i'll just take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and then honestly i just take my bronzer i'll use like the darker one i go all over my lid and my crease and like pull it up very quick easy that's it <laughs> i do take eyeshadow though and a small angled brush like this so i'm going to take this natasha denona palette and use the brown color in the middle and i just go underneath my eye really close to my lash line just to darken it up and then i smear with my finger okay now it's time for a little eyeliner i do a baby wing just to like elongate my eyes i'm using the tarte double tape eyeliner this actually has a pencil side and a felt tip liner side i'm gonna use the felt tip liner i have to focus so sorry i just do a little baby wing can this focus on me like why is it focusing on my books this is not a book video i just draw a line as if my lashes were like extended so a tiny line like that you see how small and then i'll connect it like that perfect amazing that literally took me 20 seconds to do both the eyes like once you get good at it so easy people are like drag racing outside dead ass what is going on before i do my lashes i'm gonna do my lips because i hate doing my eyelashes my least favorite part of my makeup routine my lip combo is something i get asked about an absurd amount so there's a few components to the lip combo starting off with the nyx lip liner in the shade mauve i take this on where my cupid's bow is i like to round out my cupid's bow so just kind of do that with this then taking a little bit of a darker lip liner this is the cash beauty in the shade vintage rose this is like more brown red i'll go over that just above my lip like where i'm overlining then going back in with the next one i'll drag that down the sides and kind of the bottom on the sides blend it together look at that shade i'll usually just leave it at that just some liner and now before we do lashes and why i do it last i set my face before doing my mascara because if i do it after my mascara blends everywhere i don't really know i'm just using a wet and wild setting spray i don't really know if it works or not but i spray that generously all over my face 
now let's curl my eyelashes. I use this random eyelash curler from the drugstore. Really get up in there. This actually looks so terrifying from an outside perspective, but it's not at all. I am a girl that likes to load up on her mascaras. I have a few different ones that I use every single time I do my mascara, so I don't know how helpful this routine is gonna be because who wants to buy like six different mascaras? I have a very specific routine for my mascara. Starting off with this Sugar Rush Lash Smoothie mascara, but it doesn't even matter what mascara it is as long as it's dried out. This mascara is so dried out and old that it barely works and that's what we need. I take this literal decaying dried out mascara and I coat my eyelashes mostly focusing on the base and the outer parts. Just getting it like kind of thick. This is like my priming. It honestly, if you're going for like a natural look using a really dried out mascara, like look how cute that is. That looks really natural and pretty. I'm not going for a natural look, so that's just my base. <laughs> then I take this Tarte Man Eater Mascara and I go over that, mostly focusing on the ends this time. So like the lengthening. I go from the back to coat the back of my lashes and I pull up and kind of wiggle my brush. The last stage was the volume, now we're getting the length. Somehow when I do my mascara, I always get it all over my lid. So then this eye looks like that. Look how pretty and separated and flawless that is, okay? I'm gonna do it to the other eye. I let this one dry while I'm doing the other eye. Still just focusing on lengthening. I'm not sure if it matters which mascaras you use as long as you do this technique. Actually, some mascaras are really shitty. No, I always do that. Ignore that giant black blotch and the sound of an ambulance outside. But look how long my lashes look already. Then I go in and do that same thing again, mostly just pulling down. I don't know if you understand what I mean by pulling down, but like going behind my eyelashes. Now this is what my eyelashes look like. Do you see that? Last mascara step. I take the GSQ by Glam Squad. This is a drugstore mascara. It's pretty wet though, cause this is new. And I just go over everything I just did. Just going brushing up. And this just lifts my lashes back up. Okay, I think I just successfully cleaned that up. Got it off my eyelids. I'm gonna be real, I'm a bottom mascara hater because it always bleeds down my face or like at least gets like a little line right here. So I try to do the bare minimum and I use that dried out mascara and I'll just do like one tap to my outer bottom lashes, like a little wiggle. Cause I like the darkness, but I don't like how it bleeds. But that is the end of my makeup routine. Let me take my headband out, show you in the natural light. Let there be light. And here we have it. I feel like this is a very achievable, like that took me 40 minutes and I was filming and like taking my time. So I feel like this could be like an easy 30 minute makeup routine. So I hope that answered your questions. I'll definitely be doing a school makeup routine soon, skincare routine, hair routine, all that. Cause I've been getting asked a bunch and I just need to sit down and get all of these filmed. I just feel so awkward cause I'm like, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't want people to critique me, but you're asking, I'm delivering. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, that's fine. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.